the tenth verse of the Tao Te Ching. Quote, Carrying body and soul and embracing the one, can you avoid separation? Can you let your body become as supple as a newborn child's? In the opening and shutting of heaven's gate, can you play the feminine part? Can you love your people and govern your domain without self-importance? Giving birth and nourishing, having yet not possessing, working yet not taking credit, leading without controlling or dominating. One who heeds this power brings the Tao to this very earth. This is the primal virtue. End quote. Living Oneness This verse of the Tao Te Ching examines the paradoxical nature of life on earth. Lao Tzu encourages the attainment of comfort with the seemingly incompatible opposites of body and soul, which form the basis of our daily life. We are connected to the power of the eternal Tao while simultaneously being an immortal physique. As we take on this seemingly ambiguous stance, we begin to see the world revealed as flawless. Everything that seems to be absolute is an opportunity to recognize its paradoxical reality. This teaching takes the form of a series of questions. Can an adult body, with all of the conditions inherent in the aging process, such as stiffness, soreness, limitations, caused by aching joints and so on, can it be as supple as a newborn's? Is it possible to be someone who works and struggles and still be the feminine spirit birthing creation? Can one succeed in these and similar ways and still be free of feelings of self-importance? Is it possible to stay true to the Tao without allowing ego to dominate, yet successfully function in an ego-dominated world? This tenth verse promotes a way of living that is guided by the power of embracing the one when the illusion of duality appears more powerful. Read Hafiz's writing on this subject thousands of years after the Tao Te Ching was written, quote, Only that illumined one who keeps seducing the formless into form had the charm to win my heart. Only a perfect one who is always laughing at the word too can make you know of love. End quote. Our origin cannot be split, yet we're in a world that all too often seems to reject the perfect oneness that is the Tao. We can personally live the Tao by suspending our belief in opposites and reactivating our awareness of its unity. That is, we can surrender ego and be in this world without being of it. This is my interpretation of Lao Tzu's advice from his 2,500-year-old perspective. First, Embrace oneness by seeing yourself in everyone you encounter. Rather than having judgmental thoughts about those whom you regard as separate or different, view others as an extension of yourself. This will diminish self-importance, and it will unite you with what Lao Tzu calls the primal virtue. Letting go of ego-dominated thoughts lets you sense the oneness that you share with others. Thus you give yourself the opportunity to feel a part of the all-embracing Tao. Practice inner awareness whenever you feel yourself about to criticize anyone or any group. News reports designed to encourage your sense of separateness or superiority in relation to others can be a perfect time to do this. Find yourself as one of them. In situations where you're expected to hate an assumed enemy, stop yourself from these judgments and walk an imaginary mile or two in their shoes. Do so with all forms of life, even the plant world. See yourself in everyone and all creations, noting the Tao in this simple observation, we are the world. And secondly, take pleasure from what you possess without being attached to these things. Let go of your identification with your stuff and with your accomplishments. Try instead to enjoy what you do and all that flows into your life simply for the pleasure of doing and observing the flow itself. You literally own nothing and no one. All that is composed will decompose. All that is yours will leave and become someone else's. So step back a bit and allow yourself to be an observer of this world of form. Becoming a detached witness will put you into a state of bliss while loosening your tight grip on all of your possessions. It is in this releasing process that you'll gain the freedom to live out what the Tao is always teaching by example. Do the Tao now. Today, Practice seeing oneness where you've previously seen two-ness or separation. Feel the invisible energy that beats your heart and then notice it beating the heart of every living creature all at once. Now feel the invisible energy that allows you to think and sense it doing the same for every being currently alive. Contemplate these words from the Gospel of Thomas. 
His disciples said to him, When will a kingdom come? And Jesus said, It will not come by looking outward. It will not say, Behold this side, or behold that one. Rather, the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth, and men do not see it. Today, know that practicing oneness thinking will help you see that kingdom.